Hey guys, in this video, I want to introduce a new series, uh, the CNC conversion of my Grizzly G0602. I've been planning to do this conversion since I bought the lathe. I always intended to have this lathe be uh, CNC'd, and it just took a long time to get around to. And the conversion is actually finished. Uh, I'll show you a clip at the end of this video. And then uh, all the footage that you're watching right now is just compressed uh, seven hours of total footage compressed into just a couple of minutes. I've still got to do a lot of scrubbing uh, to go through all of it. But there's going to be several videos. I'm thinking uh, 10 at minimum, maybe maybe 15. I'm not sure. I'm going to try and keep each video uh, short within seven or eight minutes or less. And that's just so I can cover one topic in one video. So when you need information about something specific, you can find it easily without having to scrub through a long video that covers several topics. Uh, video number two is going to be, uh, just like in my G0704 conversion series, we'll do an Excel spreadsheet that breaks down all of the components needed for the conversion, the prices at the time that I bought them, uh, which may not be you know, exactly the same prices as when you go to look them up, as well as links for all of the vendors that I used. Uh, there are some components that I picked up locally, but it's still stuff that you can find online uh, if you need to order it because you don't have access to uh, local vendors. Um, in my city, I can get pretty much anything I need, um, as long as it's not a weekend. <laughs> uh, let's see. I use Fusion 360 to do all the models, and um, I had always intended to do this conversion without buying a kit. And the reason for that is because I want to own the content so I can give it away. So um, the videos, of course, are all going to be on YouTube. Um, Fusion 360 is where I do all the CAD. It lets me post directly. It lets me publish my models directly into GrabCAD. So you'll be able to get all the 3D models uh, in GrabCAD. I'll also make 2D drawings of every component for those of you who don't need the 3D models. You definitely don't need a CNC mill to do this conversion. And you could, uh, you could actually do it without having a mill at all. If you just had a grinder and saws uh, and files, you could definitely do this. Uh, it would be a lot more work, but it's definitely doable. And then a lot of the parts are made on the lathe itself. This results in a lot of taking the lathe apart and putting it back together. I think I probably had it apart like 30 times. Uh, so that can get a little bit frustrating. Um, in the series, we're going to go over linear motion, including including the C7 ball screws, the brackets to hold the stepper motors, um, connecting the motors to the screws. We're going to go over the three-phase uh, motor for variable spindle speed plus the VFD. Uh, we'll go over uh, limit and home switches, spindle encoder to send pulses back to the controller, which for me is Linux CNC. It's actually more complicated than what Mach requires. Uh, we'll, we'll do all of that. And then... Uh, uh, what else? Uh, that might be it. <laughs> it's going to be, I think it's going to be quite a bit of information. Um, I already know that I've lost some footage. Either I didn't record something I thought I recorded or somehow I deleted it. So any gaps in the footage, I'll fill those. I'll do my best to fill those in with just new footage of the uh, fully converted uh, lathe. So it may seem like it's jumping around. Everything may not appear to be perfectly uh, in uh chronological order, but I'll do the best that I can. And then, uh, the other thing is, let's see, what did I, I already talked about GrabCAD hardware, Excel, I guess that's it. So let me show you one short clip. Uh, this is the first thing that I see in seed fusion 360 doesn't have, it, it just barely, barely released cam for turning and there are no good posts. And the generic fanic post that I'm using requires a lot of hand editing. So I downloaded a 3d model of this pawn from GrabCAD, scaled it for half inch material. And then I used this code to kind of get the hang of what it's going to require for me to get code out of fusion three. 360 that works. Hopefully they'll come up with a Linux CNC post before too long and I can stop doing it this way because it's very time consuming. But if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this video. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, but you have it, uh, my Instagram account is made by Russ. And um, I guess I'll put a link in the description for that as well. Uh, if there are any questions, post them below. If there are things that you really want to see in the uh, series, post those below as well. Uh, that way I'll know to emphasize certain topics and then uh, hit the like button while you're down there. Subscribe to my channel if you're just finding it and I'll see you guys in the next video.